Good Friday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis. Late Friday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our brand new look at our weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to know more about what the forecast is doing, all you have to do is look. Let me see. Pointing, let's see. This direction. There you go. Back over to or around this area. Temperatures as we record this. The forecast for today and tonight's temperatures down in the lower bar on your screen. Information about the websites, the social media networks that I'm a part of right above me. And if you'd like to know more, all you have to do is head to our website for more details on the forecast. That's at WREG.com slash weather. Getting into the forecast for the rest of the day today. Temperatures again rising, but not by that much. Mid-40s by the time we hit early this afternoon, about the time you're picking up the kids. The main story for today is, of course, going to be the very breezy winds across the Mid-South. We're going to be seeing numbers back into the 15-mile-per-hour range today. And that's going to be looking at some fairly cool temperatures. Numbers are already going to be back in the mid to upper 40s. You combine that with these winds out there, and we're talking about wind chills all day long back into the 30s. So that's something to consider if you're going to be doing anything outdoors today, right on in through about rush hour tonight. Definitely not a top-down type of day for the convertible out there. Did manage to pick up a little bit of rainfall earlier this month. It's been dry for the last couple of days. Nice to kind of dry things out by just a little bit. We're ahead for the month and the year by about an inch or so. And looking at temperatures yesterday, pretty close to normal as opposed to the near 70 degree reading we had Monday and Tuesday. So a little bit closer to where we should be. 51 is normal for this time of the year for a high 33 is normal for a low we hit 50 uh, 46 and 35 yesterday negative one is the record low set back in 1940 and a record high of 74 set back in 1975 heading into again the next several hours into the rest of the forecast let me get this up here just a little bit farther so you can see a little bit better about what's going on. This is going to be a seeing again winds out of the west-northwest for today. That's what those moving lines on the screen are all about. That gives you an idea as to where the winds are coming from and what direction they're going to be going. Let's see if I can get this thing. Okay, that's obviously not what I wanted. Excuse me, that gives you an idea as to kind of which direction the winds are going on that. Back into the mid-40s for high temperatures this afternoon. Could even be the possibility of a couple of, say, lower 50s around northwestern Mississippi and back into southeastern Arkansas. Not looking at a huge amount out there, but uh, could be a few. That's pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. Dinner time tonight. Back in the lower 40s. Winds continue occasionally breezy about 5 to 10. Mid-evening temperatures, you will need the jacket or the coat going out because we'll be looking at numbers already in the mid to upper 30s to around the lower 40s and by News Channel 3 at 10, Jim Jaggers with your complete forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 should be back in the mid to upper 30s or so. Daybreak tomorrow morning, please join me and Nina Harrelson as she schools me on how to use Snapchat. I haven't figured that out yet, believe it or not. Lower to mid 30s for low temperatures. Winds start to switch by just a little bit. And in this case, they'll be coming up a little bit farther from out of the south and west. It's not going to be much, but it will be enough to kind of bump the temperatures up along with all that sunshine tomorrow. Maybe by a degree or two, that should be about it. We'll be seeing temperatures again tomorrow easily back in the upper 40s to lower 50s once again. And by News Channel 3 at 10, more clouds coming on through. Storm system is going to try to make its way across the country and it looks like it's going to be diving somewhere around middle Tennessee heading our direction and we could get clipped by the possibility of maybe some snow showers coming up. It doesn't look like much, well technically it doesn't really look like anything for us, maybe a dusting and that's going to be about it. Throughout the rest of the day, mid to upper 40s for high temperatures, lots of sunshine, kind of breezy, that should be calming down into tonight. Mainly sunny for the weekend, open up those blinds and drapes and get some free solar heating going on. That'll help your utility bill out by just a little bit. Mid to upper 40s for Sunday. Here's where it gets interesting. Again, early on Sunday morning, we could be looking at the possibility of maybe a few flurries into areas of the Mid-South. It doesn't look like much. It's possible, but as of right now, it's just kind of sort of likely. It's just not that huge. It's definitely not winter weather to be worried about, as in, should I cancel plans? Are we going to need to cancel, cancel church services Sunday school, things like that. I don't see that happening for right now, but it does bear watching, and we'll keep you up to date on that. It's a good possibility by early Sunday morning we may see some flurries on the radar, and we'll bring you that information 
throughout the weekend on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more on that. Rest of next week, temperatures again in the mid to upper 50s by Tuesday, cooling off Wednesday into Thursday. That's also Groundhog's Day, a furry fake forecaster day as I call it, but that's a detraction for right now. Looking in for distraction, I guess I should say, considering Phil's part in all this, we'll get back up onto the temperatures going from the 40s to the upper 50s again by Friday into Saturday, and then after that, fairly dry, a little bit cooler, sunny, and, well, a little bit of sunshine combined with some cloud cover on Sunday. Next best chance of anything involving rainfall will be coming up by about next Friday. We're looking at temperatures maybe about... Uh, into the upper 50s, so anything we'll get will just be in the form of liquid rainfall. But throughout the next seven days, there's not that much going on where it comes to rain across much of the Mid-South. So we don't see, again, anything in the way of major amounts of problems out across the area. So this is something that, again, is a pretty stable forecast pattern for right now. If anything changes, and it can, we will bring it to you as soon as we possibly can, but so far we're just not seeing anything out there of any major amount of note coming on through the area, so that's good news for us. If you have friends, family, or loved ones serving in the United States military, looking back toward Iraq, temperatures in the 40s around Mosul, 60s around Basra, 50s with clear skies in and around Baghdad and Najaf down to the south-central part of the country. Temperatures in the upper 50s around Kuwait at the International Airport, clear skies there also throughout the rest of the Persian Gulf, mid to upper 60s in locations there. Back into Afghanistan, temperatures in the 20s around Kabul, rain mixed with snow around Faizabad, and 40s back to around the area close to Kandahar, with temperatures back in the mid 40s with cloudy skies around Herat, and mid to upper 20s again around Kabul at the airport. Back to the DMZ and areas close to around South Korea, we've got temperatures back into around the mid to upper teens in Seoul, Chuncheon, close to the DMZ, 20s throughout the rest of the country back into the upper 20s to lower to mid 20s throughout much of the area. A few clouds around Pusan, but beyond that, there's just not that much out there. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, this is where you want to be. Coming up in the next several weeks, starting in late February, the National Weather Service in Memphis will be teaching Skywarn Spotter Training Courses. It's a volunteer organization. It's a good opportunity for you to learn about citizen science, how you can help when it comes to severe weather, learning what needs to be done before severe weather hits, how to respond when it hits, and what to report after it hits. It's a great opportunity for kids. I've seen kids as young as about seven or eight become volunteer spotters, so this is a good opportunity for them to learn a little bit more about what's going on with weather. You can ask questions of the meteorologists and personnel in the National Weather Service of Memphis what's going on. What you see listed here is only the first five meetings coming up and that's it. So if you would like to know more about what this is all about, you can contact the National Weather Service on Facebook, Twitter, also on their regular page. Go to weather.gov and you can click on more involving what's going on in the Mid-South area uh, on their Skywarn page there. And you can give them a call as well. They'd be glad to answer any questions. And the contact information for all of these meetings that you see are listed on the page at the National Weather Service. So it's a great opportunity for you to learn more about what to look for. Follow me on all these pages. Again, available at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Tumblr. Now on Periscope. Forgot about that one. WordPress and Google Plus if you'd like to know more. And you can get our app as well. Whatever platform you've got, download the News Channel 3 weather app to search for WREG weather and we'll be glad to get you added there so you can see a little bit more about what's going on when it comes to severe weather or just your regular forecast out there. Something to think about there. Questions, concerns, ideas, contact me at austin.onic at WREG.com. We'll have updates on your forecast on the social media pages and at WREG.com slash weather throughout the rest of the weekend. For Join me for more information there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis on Friday late morning, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. More coming up on your forecast throughout the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online, so stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.